What's up everyone? This is Gagan from lifelearnings.com and welcome to you in the 8th tutorial of Atmega 16. In this tutorial we will display a variable value on LCD. For this tutorial first I connect one 16x2 LCD to the microcontroller port C. Create a new project in Micro C Pro for AVR. So first don't forget to include the LCD library for your project. So first declare the LCD pins to microcontroller port. In this tutorial we have to display the value of a variable. So first I want to create a variable of character type and the name of this variable is value. Initialize to some value suppose 123. Then we have to initialize the LCD library LCD underscore INIT. Next I want to provide a command to turn off the LCD cursor. Before proceeding to next step first I want to discuss an array how we can declare an array and how to use the array to declare an array first type the data type I will declare an array for character data type then you can give any name to array suppose ARR then the square brackets and in the square brackets we can write the required number of elements for that array because the array is a group of similar data items suppose if I type 9 in these square brackets that means I am defining 9 character elements for this array and I will declare this array for ASCII values from 0 to 9 so we have this array with name ARR and this array is storing ASCII value from 0 to 9 Suppose I want to display 5 on LCD with the help of this array. For that I have to use LCD underscore CHR function. First provide the row location then any column location and to get the value from that array type the name of that array and in the square brackets you have to provide the index number of the element. So if I want to get this 5 from the array I will provide index location 5 we will get an ASCII file from this array compile the program in the compilation there is an error too many initializer to solve this error just increase the number of elements of that array and now there is no error and program is compiled successfully and double click on the controller make sure it is the required hex file assigned to the microcontroller package and run the simulation and you can see we will get the 5 on this display so if I write 9 what we will get on the LCD we will get a 9 instead of 5 so you can see now the value changed to 9 so this is the simplest way to get the value from an array you have to provide the index number for that element now the main purpose of this tutorial is to display this value which is 123 to display this value I can't write like the direct name of the variable because this data is a decimal value and we can't directly display decimal value on LCD. So if I type this value to display on LCD let's see what is the output on LCD. You can see this is a curly bracket which is not the required output of our program we have to display 123 so for that we have to separate these values we need one separated two separated and three separated then we will get these one two three values from this array to display the ASCII character because we can't display the decimal data directly on the LCD so for that in the LCD character function first type the name of array then square brackets then the name of that variable which value you want to display here the name is VAL so type VAL divide by 100 and then percentage 10 so if you divide the variable by 100 and take the modulus by 10 you will get this one to get 2 for next value just copy this line and paste first change the column location so that we can display the next value 2 to next location on the LCD so again the value divide by 10 then percentage 10 now this line will print this 2 to print 3 on the next location on the LCD first change the column location then variable name and then just we need modulus by 10 
so this line will provide 3 this line will provide 2 and this line will provide 1 so we separate the value of a variable and we are getting an ASCII value from the array now you can see the value is 1 2 3 is printed on the LCD if I change this value to 178 then there is no need to change in these lines just compile the program we will get 178 or whatever the value of the variable we will get on the display now suppose instead of this character the value is of integer the variable is containing 4178 for that these three lines are correct these three lines are required but these three lines will display only three variables we have to use one more line here now in the variable we have four digits 4178 so to display these four digits we need four column locations 1 to 4 and to get this 4 on display we have to divide the variable by 1000 to get 1 we have to divide the variable by 100 to get the 7 we have to divide the variable by 10 and to get this 8 we have to just take the modulus of the variable and you will get the value of your variable on the LCD now suppose the value of this variable is 0 and I want to display the counting on the LCD from 0 0 to a certain value for this I will create a for loop I will initialize the value variable to 0 then condition is value is less than 100 then value plus plus and we have to provide a delay 300 milliseconds and you can see we are getting the counting on LCD because of this condition the counting will be up to 100 and this is the simplest way to display a variable on LCD with the help of array of S key values so guys we will use the same method for ADC interfacing to display the converted digital value on the LCD don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching